Welcome to Pinball Mayhem. My name is Jeremy and uh, got a little bit of uh, interesting problem to fix here. I'm going to delve into something that's really mysterious to a lot of people and that is electrical troubleshooting. Um, as you can see behind me, we got the king himself, Elvis. And he's got a little issue with one of the GI circuits. We're going to grab the camera and I'll show you what the details are. Um, the situation is, um, I was looking at it and it really wasn't obvious what the problem was. There's one GI circuit that wasn't working. It wasn't a major one, so it really didn't, you know, catch me right away that there was an issue. I just noticed the pop-up lights weren't working. I was like, oh, that's kind of, kind of weird. Um, started checking the fuses and stuff. Those were good. And, uh, I'll show you the rest of my troubleshooting procedure and hopefully you can learn something a little bit about electrical troubleshooting. Here's the play field of Elvis. And what I hinted at before was the pop-uppers were out. Now I just got this game and our good friend Scott did an awesome job cleaning it. And, uh, to be perfectly honest, I couldn't really recall if the pop-upper lights were working when I got it from him. And uh, I think, oh, uh, well, that's no big deal. I'll, I'll change them out. Well, as I've been playing the game, I look around and I see that spotlight's working and this spotlight's not. And I'm really certain I noticed when I picked it up from him that both these were working. Thought it was the bulb. So check the bulb. Bulb's good. Well, what the heck's going on here? So I decided to check the other uh, lights to see if anything else was burned out. There's a light in the back corner that's underneath that's not working. Change the bulb in that. No change. So, what's the first method for me to troubleshoot this? Get out the manual. Uh, RTM or RTFM as it's commonly said. So, what I did, as we flip through the pages here, hopefully I can find it quickly. In this manual, there is a very handy dandy playfield wiring general illumination circuit. Over on this side, we got represented by the letter V, which is the uh, pop up lights and whatnot on here, even though these are a B. But whatever. Who's to say it's not accurate? I'm sure there's always some differences in wiring versus what's printed in the manual and what's actually um, done in production and making up harnesses and whatnot. Because the spotlight on this side is connected to V. So it, it, there's definitely a little discrepancy here as to why this doesn't exactly work like what's, what's on the chart here. But I looked at our diagram here. Our fuses are F24 to F27. Those all tested good. I go down and I see circuit number four. This is the violet stuff. And when we look at our header, we're going to find out that it's pin four. F27 is our circuit we're working on. And the return line for the circuit, well, this is AC, but uh, the other side of the circuit is pin six, seven, eight and nine and they're always, those all common back to the transformer whereas these four are all tied together but have individual fuses that go back to the GI relay. We'll uh, pop the panel off and we'll take a look at it and we'll do a little more detailed troubleshooting to figure out what the issue is. I've got the trans light off of Elvis and I'm just going to show you what we're going to be working here. We're going to be working right in this area and these are the fuses for the general illumination on this system. So I'm going to rig up a mount for the camera and we'll get some close up views and uh, show you how to do a little troubleshooting. I'm going to be using my cheapy meter here. Well, this, it looks fancy, but it was, I got it from some order from Circuit Specialist, a place where I buy some stuff. We're going to be using this. Going to be using a couple of jumper wires, very handy for troubleshooting. And because I don't have pointed probes on little jumper wires, we're just going to use these for a pointed probe. And we'll get the camera set on its mount and we'll start working. 
got the meter set up and in looking at the wiring diagram here pin six seven eight and nine are tied together and it says here GI com so we got pin one two three four five six seven eight and nine so these are all tied together on the back side of this board so I can use any one of them for our particular circuit it's pin nine so there could be a problem on the board or it could be a problem in the connector but pin nine will check and also for our circuit we're looking at G14 here which is pin 4 so there's a couple ways to test this well, we're just going to do it simple check for voltage on pin 9 which again these last four are tied together and pin 4 and our meter goes to 0 now since all these are tied together I can jump down one and like I said all my other GI is working here get the lead on the correct part of it here 5.7 5 5.7 5.7 okay my lights are still out the one one circuit is still out we can since these four are tied together we could move in and just check it there zero 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 Okay, well, maybe we got a fuse out. That's fuse 27. Fuses work on these particular circuits. So I'm going to hook my one lead, doesn't matter if it's black or red, but I'll hook my one lead to the common here. And we'll go fuse 24, bin voltage, both sides of it, fuse 25. Same thing, 26, 27. So the fuse is good. We're getting power on both sides of the fuses. Another test I did in troubleshooting this was I went to the output of the fuse in, in the circuit. Hooked up my test lead. Oops, sorry about that. And because, like I said, I don't have any pointed probes with the uh, just wires on it, I'm just using the end of this wire. And I'll hook it, hook it up to my circuit in question. And it lights up. You have to trust me on that, but it lights up. Don't worry about the voltage reading. We're not looking at that. Besides, the other, the other end is wild anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we're able to jump power directly from the output of fuse 27 to this circuit here so that leads us two possibilities connector issue well three maybe connector issue wire issue potentially or something on the board on the back of the board maybe a cracked solder joint at first I thought I was dealing with the uh, with an issue here with the connector and I'll shut off the game here pull out the connector and it's actually good quality connector there's nothing nothing burnt on it that circuit doesn't have very many bulbs on it anyway five bulbs and the wire is in good condition and we did do a jump to it from another circuit and get it to work. So let's check the power on the pins. We'll turn the game back on. Let the game do its thing here. Okay, I'm hooking up one lead on my meter to my. I'm hooking up one lead to my meter. To my jumper lead here now as you can see I do have it on AC volts that's what we're dealing with put one lead on the common 
Okay, and all these last four are tied together, so it's no big deal. It doesn't matter which one. And I will hook. Get this jumper lead off of here. Oh, there you go, bumping the camera again. Hook the other end up to here. Actually, we don't have to do this. We can just do it with the one test lead. Just makes it easier. You don't have to have both hands occupied. Okay. So looking at our meter, we got power there. Why is it higher? Well, there's no load on it, and it's an unregulated power source. It's coming right off the transformer. Second pin, got voltage. Third pin, we got voltage. Fourth pin, wait a minute, we got voltage here. But we didn't before. That seems really, really unusual. Sorry, I keep bumping that. So, how can we test it further to verify whether it's connector or whether it's the board without pulling the board off and physically looking at it? A couple ways to do it. The best way to verify it's not the board is to use their handy dandy jumper pins and whatnot. And we'll jumper things up so we can power the circuit. All right, now, since these last four, this last one is our circuit. So we'll go here. And we're going to power this, we're going to power our mystery or our troublesome circuit off of circuit one there. And it's the fourth pin in, so. One, two, three, four. Okay, the circuit in question is lighting up, and we got voltage, and the meter is showing appropriately. So I know the circuit's good. It's not shorter than the circuit or anything. I will run the pin that's supposed to run this circuit. We'll make sure we're not jumping the pin next to it here. We got voltage. And we'll put the power to it, and look what happens. The meter goes out. What we can also do is we can go on the output of the fuse. Check that, because who knows, we could have a bad fuse. It happens. Circuit's lighting up. Voltage is steady. Just in case this isn't the output, we'll go to the other end of the fuse. So you never know, without looking at the back of the board. The circuit is lighting up. So the problem is the connection between this fuse and this pin. I initially thought it was the connector. I, was, I wasn't quite ready to replace the connector, but it's like, well, it's got to be the connector. And it turns out it's not. It's just a cracked solder joint or something else that we will investigate next. So we'll just power that up again. Looking at the wiring diagram, last pin here, pin four here, and our voltage goes away. Okay, we'll uh, change things up a bit, tilt this board back after we shut off the power, and we'll take a look at that pin. Together. Is this pin? Uh-huh. All right. Well, we're going to have to start over. That was working so nice. 